Hey crafty friends, this is Mai with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to assemble our Easter Bunny Hanging Street Sign. I have my art glitter glue that I will be using for all of my gluing. I also have my tweezers here that I may or may not use with some of the pieces. I haven't decided, but if I need it, I have it. Um, and so with that, let's just get started right away. This was a huge file for us to cut. I think it was a little over 20 mats or something like that. If you had gone ahead and sized yours down, you probably got to use fewer mats and you also might have had to switch over from um, the regular cut setting to maybe the intricate cut setting, but I'm not sure. Mine's pretty big. I wanted mine pretty big so that way I could see it from far away. Um, but, Basically, the file was in four different sections. We had the bunny and then the three different street signs. Um, we're going to glue them together in those sections, except for the very back layer. So you can see I have mine here all um, laid out together according to the sections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the back layer for all of the sections and put that off to the side. So I've got this one here, which was my top sign. And then the middle sign and then right here the very last sign I'm gonna glue those at the very end because I want to make sure that they're glued in a certain way so that way the sections the seam of the section is at the back and not visible from the front so I'm gonna put these off here to the side out of my camera and we're gonna go ahead and start I think what I'll start is with this bottom sign first. So I'm gonna push things up here and then I'm gonna work on this one first. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to be using our glue here and we're just gonna start gluing like we normally do with our projects. So I'm just gonna kind of come in here and round right up the center there and just adding a little bit. And I'm also going to use my fingers here to kind of help me glue and line up this section. So I have the bunnies right here and then this part. And what I'm going to do is just use my fingers there to kind of get that section and then just press everything down. And so I didn't really have to eyeball <laughs> this one. I was just able to use that piece here. And then for the top part, I'm gonna do the same thing. I flipped it over. I'm gonna add some glue here along the back. Um, and you could really have fun with this craft in choosing your cardstock. So many great patterns for spring and for Easter that you could use to really get this one looking beautiful so I think that's good let me add just a little bit there and then I'm basically going to do the same thing I'm going to grab this one here it's kind of stuck on my table <laughs> and I'm going to use my fingers right in the ears there and I'm pressing it up and using my fingers just to line it all up before I press it down okay and then I'm just going to tap it gently down because I also glued behind those letters added a little bit of pieces behind the flaps of the letters and so I'm just going to be gentle here and press it down and there we go and then the last part for the bunny again I'm going to line it up according to the ears so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here to the back and then same thing using my fingers to get it in that spot and then just pressing it down okay so that's our bottom sign <laughs> very quick very simple and pretty easy there so i'm going to move on to the middle one which is the carrot patch and again i'm going to oh i think i wanted to grab myself a sharpie um, I forgot to do that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do basically the same thing, just adding my glue to the back here. And I'm going to use my fingers to 
get it in the right spot there. So just lining it up. Same thing with this top part, with this top green, I should say, this green part of the carrot. Adding a little bit of glue there and then lining it up with the top here and then also with the bottom. And then that shifted just a little bit, so let me just put it back. And then same thing here with this one. I can't believe I forgot my Sharpie. I think it's on the other side there. So I'm gonna have to go around and get it. I'll have to pause the video at the very end then. And okay. And so that takes care of our carrots. And now we're going to do the sign part. And so again, with the sign, I've got the edge of the carrots here. That's going to be my guideline to help line everything up. So I'm just adding my glue again to the back kind of coming around, going a little in the center. And then I'm going to use my fingers here at the edge to line it up and then press it down. Same thing here with the actual letters of the sign. Same thing that we did with the bunny hop lane sign. So I'm just kind of going in between the letters, getting some of the little flaps of the letters that will need to be glued. and just adding a little bit of glue there. It really doesn't need a lot, just a little bit to kind of help it to stay down. And then same thing, whoops, using my fingers and the edge of the carrot here to line it up and get it in that position before I press everything down. See, oh, there we go. <laughs> so before the glue dries, you've got maybe about five seconds to just shift things there and get it into the right spot. And I almost didn't make it with this one here, but I was able to. And then I'm going to glue my carrots on by again, just adding glue to the back and then using my fingers here to line it up. Did I, I may have glued it the wrong way. It's probably supposed to be, was it supposed to be that way? Yeah. <laughs> So look at that. I actually glued mine the wrong way because I didn't spend the time to do it right. Okay. <laughs> so you guys saw me make a mistake here. Um, so <laughs> you're going to want to make sure that you get yours right. I'm going to add a little bit more glue there. Mine's not going to look just perfect as it should. That's disappointing for me. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to keep going. I'm going to let it go. Can't cry of a spilled milk, right? <laughs> okay, so now for the first sign, the, the one that's at the top, um, same thing here. I'm gonna do the eggs first because that has a few layers and I don't wanna make that same mistake again. So I'm going to just place my glue there and then I'm going to sit it on top of the back of the eggs here. And again, just using my fingers to get it in the right spot. Whoops, there's a little bit of glue that seeped through. Now for the purple part of the egg, which was the other side, again, just adding a little bit of glue and then using my fingers and the edges to line it up. And then for this top first one, a little bit on the back and then pressing it down and then I'm going to add it to the yellow just kind of going in between the design of this egg here and then pressing it down okay whoops and shifting that one just 
a little bit there. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing with the back of the sign first to start. We're going to add the glue to the back, just kind of going around the edges again and right there in the center. I'm going to use the edge here with the eggs at the bottom to line it up and that's going to be my alignment guide. And then I'm going to press it down. And then the same thing here with the actual sign and the letters. I'm just going to go around and add my glue here. And so I would love to see your sign here. I'd love to see your cardstock that you chose and how gorgeous yours is going to look. So come and find me on Facebook and make a post. Show yours off there on the home on the page. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing here and just using those eggs again right here that are part of the sign to line everything up. And then I'm just going to press it down again gently. And once again, just be um, mindful of the inserts of the letters. You do want to have, make sure that you've put a little bit of glue there. Otherwise, they might curl up and then that might cause your design and your craft to rip. And we don't want that. <laughs> Not after we spend the time to cut it and to glue it. And so for the eggs, I'm just going to add my glue to the back. And then these will be easy to press down because I'm just going to line them up right there. Okay. Woo, that went pretty quick, I feel like. <laughs> I could be wrong though. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do the bunny. And I'm just going to, there we go, get it all right. So I'm gonna start here with the bow first, and I'm gonna use my bow as a bow tie and make mine a little bit more masculine for my bunny here. But if you wanted to, you could use the same bow and make it a hair bow. It's all gonna be in the placement of where you put it on the bunny. And you could change the color and have made this like with glitter, or you can change it and just make it like with a pink that's more feminine. And so I'm gonna put mine here, but if you wanted to make yours girly, you could put yours up here. And then if you really wanted to, you could maybe just take some circles inside Cricut Design Space and kind of make a, um, a curve or an arch with the circles and you could put it here and it might be like a necklace for your bunny, but that's personal choice, <laughs> just in an idea. So I'm gonna make mine though, having a bow tie. So I'm gonna stick it right about there where his neck would be. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this nose here and glue it on top of the nose and the mouth. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of the nose and the mouth. And then I'm going to place it down right about there. And for the eyes, I'm gonna add a little bit here and place it down. This is probably where I could be using my tweezers to help me so I'm not touching everything, but it's personal choice. Sometimes I like to use them <laughs> and sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't like to use them because I feel like I'm faster just using my fingers. But then sometimes I usually end up getting glue on my fingers. So <laughs> oh, it all depends. All right, so here's the second eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Add a little bit of glue here. That was a little higher than I wanted. I'm gonna use my push pen to pick this part up and just press down the circles of the cheeks. Same thing with the eyebrows. And so you could really have fun too with the eyebrows because the eyebrows say a lot with the expression of our creatures. So if you wanted to, you could you know, kind of put the eyebrows up so they're a bit more arched. And so your bunny might look a little bit more surprised. Or you could do one down and one up. So he's kind of like, hmm, pensive maybe. It's really, the eyebrows can do a lot with changing the expression of our creatures. 
And so you can have fun with that part too. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here to the back. I'm going to kind of just put mine right about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side here. And I made mine just slightly lower, not too much. I've got a little bit of glue right here. I should have used my paper towel just to wipe it. The great thing about the art glitter glue, as I've said before, it dries clear. So we don't have to worry about any white residue from the glue coming out and seeping through. And so I'm adding the glue here to the back and on the other side of the ear. And then I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use my fingers and hold both together. I'm going to line them up. And just get that them in that right position before they dry. It was almost there. And then press it down once you have it. And now for the top layer, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna add it here. Now be really careful along the bottom because you're going to see um, the lines of the paws coming through. So I would really just kind of go close there, but then everywhere else, you'll be good to go. So go ahead and be generous in adding the glue to the center and even to the hair parts and up into the ears. And so let me add this side here and that will finish it. And again, I'm going to lift mine just to kind of help me with my alignment and getting it just right. Okay, and that's it. All right, so now we're ready to do the back of the sign. So how we're going to connect it all. And so this one here that doesn't have a piece at the bottom is going to go with that one. Then we're going to have the carrot patch one. It's going to be going that way. And so we're going to see that it's going to line up like this. And then this, I probably went off camera a little there. But this bottom one is going to be on an angle, so it's not going to sit completely 90 degrees. You'll see, you'll notice that the um, chain part with the eggs, they're going to be off. So it's actually going to sit a little bit on an angle. And we're going to take these and put them right there. And I'm going to push this down now. And then the top one is going to do the same thing, except this one's going to come underneath. And the reason why you want to kind of make sure that you're doing it this way is so you don't see that seam of the design. And it's not a big deal if you do, but it just kind of helps with the transitions of the sign. And then I also have, so let me just start with this one first. Let, I'll work my way from the top down. So I'm gonna move these two off and then bring this one and these back down into the camera. And so this purple one for the top is actually going to sit right on top of this one here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here to the back of the bunny. And then I'm going to take the back part of the egg hunt sign and I'm going to line it up right where those eggs are dropping down out of his paws there. And that's going to be this part. I'm pressing it down to make sure that it's secure. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just add the glue everywhere here because all we're going to do is layer the top of the bunny 
right on top of that back piece. And get a little bit here of his hair. Then I'm going to come in, just press it down right on top. Okay. And there we go. And so that's where we can see now. So you can see it there, but when you go and you look at it from this side, the transition of the two pieces is hidden from view. And that's really what you're trying to avoid being at the front of your design. And so now I'm just ready to stick this one. Well, let me add the back first. <laughs> see, I'm getting too eager. <laughs> okay, so same thing with this one. I'm going to take the top part and I'm going to put it right on top here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my glue right here to the bottom of these two eggs. I'm gonna place this one on top as well. Okay, and so that finishes that one. So it'll be tucked, so even though you can see it here, it'll be tucked behind the sign, and then the transition will be on the back. And so that's the second layer. And now for the third one, same thing here. I'm going to remember this one, this third one's gonna be on an angle. I hope you guys can see this here. So this third one's gonna be on an angle. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the glue here to the bottom of the second eggs. And then I'm gonna press it down. Okay. And there. <laughs> All right. And so now I'm ready to just add my sign. And everything's going to line up easy peasy. And it's just gonna layer right on top. I'm not going to add any glue here behind the ears because my back piece doesn't have the ears. So I'm going to press this one down right there. Now for the Carrot Boulevard. I can't believe I put that one the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it's just the type A perfectionist inside me that's finding it humorous. Okay, and so same thing with the middle one. I'm going to just line it up right on top so that way I can't see the purple behind it. All I can see are the egg chains. And then now for the top one, I seem to have gotten glue here. Oh, it's from the back of my carrot. I added too much there. So let me just wipe that away. That was a lot. <laughs> okay. And then for the top one, my egg hunt arrow. I'm just going to do this one there. And then this is going to finish off our craft for today. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this project. Remember, I would love to see your designs and what colors cardstock you came up with and what yours looks like. Be sure to come and find me on Facebook or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your projects. All right, and so there we go. It's so cute and so fun. Before we go, I'm going to pause the video. I'm gonna grab a Sharpie really quick. Okay, friends, here we go. So I actually have my Sharpie and then I also have just like a fine point black pen. What you want to do here, I'm gonna push mine up just a little bit more. What you want to do now is don't feel like you have to do this step. This is just another um, extra measure to go and do if you want to add a little bit more of that realism and that realistic look to your carrots. If you find them, in, when you find them in nature, they usually have um, little striations to them. It just adds a little bit more to them. So if you want to use a black pen, you can, or if you have the Sharpie, you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my Sharpie here and all I'm gonna do is just kind of like come in and add just a little black line here on both sides of my carrots. I'm gonna come in on this one too, add just a little bit. 
Don't feel like you have to do this step, like I said. It's just something extra to add it to your carrots. Very easy though. <laughs> so don't feel like, oh no, you're gonna mess up your project or anything. And so see, that was it. I'm all done. That's all I'm going to add. And so be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and crafting with me. I appreciate all of your support. Hey friends. So what I realized was, um, if you wanted to make yours for hanging, we can. Um, so I'm going to make mine so it can hang on my wall. Um, I have here some twine that I will be using and I'm going to make mine a small little hook behind the head of my bunny. But if you wanted to make yours um, really large or long so that way you can see the string when it's hanging, that's okay too. It's gonna be personal choice for each of us. So mine's gonna be kind of um, small here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut a little bit and I'm gonna flip mine over as well. Sorry, I totally just took it out of the camera, didn't I? <laughs> Um, and what I have here is I'm just going to kind of go ahead and make a little bit of a knot with mine. Um, not a big one, but I'm going to make the knot so that way it just kind of stays on itself here. And that's about as good as I'm going to do it there. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put mine there like this. So I have my hot glue gun that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna add a little dab of hot glue right there. And I'm gonna press that knot right down into the glue. I'm gonna take some of the glue and kind of put it over my knot as well. And then I'm gonna kind of come back in and just add a little bit of glue right on top because I really want it to stay. I don't want it to kind of come up at all. And then I'm just using my finger to kind of press it again. And there we go. So if you wanted your um, hook to be visible, you would just have cut a longer piece of twine and you could make it so it kind of goes up to the top here. I don't want mine really visible, so that's why I did mine this way. And so I'm gonna go ahead Flip it back over and I'm going to take my pictures and I can't wait to see yours. All right, so again, thank you for watching and happy crafting.